and the rock star Joe Collins. Joe Cullen trifft auf die aktuelle Nummer 8 der Welt. Ein Mann, der aktuell in diesem Jahr 2015 so ein bisschen in der Schaffenskrise steckt. Düsseldorf war in den letzten Jahren für ihn ein gutes Pflaster. Er hat in den letzten beiden Jahren hier das Finale erreicht und er hat vor allem euch das Publikum verzaubert. Herzlich willkommen aus Down Under, The Wizard, Simon Simon Whitlock, a man whose popularity in Germany is seemingly perpetual. The lookalikes are back this weekend. They've had the awkward moment of explaining to their wives and girlfriends that they are off to Dusseldorf with a bit of carpet sample glued to their chin. They are here cheering him on. He always has significant support and he has delivered for his German fans here before. He was a beaten finalist last year. He was a beaten finalist the year before. Lost to Peter Wright last time round and MVG before that. Some of his greatest successes have been on the European stages, not least his major title, the European Championship, which came in Germany as well, of course. And it's our penultimate game of the night. Simon Whitlock against Joe Cullen. I'm Dan Dawson and Rod Harrington is alongside me. Joe will be the underdog here, but he is quite, quite capable of pulling off a victory. Yes, he's certainly got the game down. We've talked about it as before we come on here. We talked about Joe and how he's been around a long time and has never moved. That just gone that next run up, rung up the ladder and needs to do it very shortly. But he has got the game to beat anybody. I, I know you can say that about most players. Um, but if Simon Whitlock gets on a run, then Joe hasn't only got to hang on to his dance, he's got to hang on to this crowd as well because they may start to. Getting a little bit boisterous. Well, this is some start. Simon Whitloff going off 27. Joe Cullen with a ton 40. Winner of this one 40. will face Robert Thornton. A 6-5 winner in an absolute belter of a match this afternoon against Dimitri Vandenberg. 60. Yes, and I thought for a little while there, Robert might just clip the young man around the lug holes to... Uh, <laughs> there were shades of Thornton versus Roby John Rodriguez yes. in Austria last year. Yes, we remember that very well. We were commentating on that, Dan. It, it was quite funny, really. It but was phenomenal. We have to say that we did talk to the people um, in Europe about that, and since then, fair play to Roby. He has calmed down and become a better player for it as well. Yeah, well, Roby John losing out to Vincent van der Voort this evening as Simon Whitlock fires in a 180. But that 174 from Joe Cullen has got him down to a finish. That doesn't help him, and that doesn't either, really. Trying to find his way through to the treble 20 when it was partially blocked. And here comes Whitlock again. Look at this. Oh, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, Simon Whitlock has launched himself back into this leg, but Cullen has a chance to break. Oh, and that doesn't help, so it's down from the 19s. Well, he's hit the treble, so he gets a dart, a double six. And it should have been easier than that for Joe Cullen. Yes, you're right. Missed two big numbers in the last six darts, cost him at least one extra dart of the double. But the two 180s and the double seven from Simon Whitlock hangs on to his throw. And he kicked that leg off, what was it, 27.45, I think yeah. it was. 80. Joe Cullen won his opening match against Mike Langendorf, won it 6-3, and he had an average of nearly 97, and that was while missing an absolute string of doubles. I mean, it could have been well over 100 had he taken his chances. Well, he missed six in one leg. I think it was to go 5-2 up or something like that. And, um, you know mistakes like that can end up costing you the game he managed to get over the line in the end but i fear that he will not be led off so lightly against this man whitlock who we have to say has not been on the top of his game for the last year it's been glimpses of the form but nothing consistent well, there we go there's only four simon whitlocks as the chant goes 
three of them in the crowd. Pretty convincing. Wow. Mind you, they've been doing it for two or three years. They should be pretty good. Yes, I think they look absolutely great. Sixty. Never got anybody turning up to uh, any of your games dressed as you, did you, Rob? Get the old tie and the waistcoat on. Wow. And, uh, 1080 from Joe oh, Cullen. Look like Peter Wright, Simon Whitlock, wherever he goes in Don't the world, quiet, he's certainly noticeable. Nothing wrong with being distinctive. Game Nothing wrong with that 59 man. check out from Joe Cullen either. Well, we, we tell all the youngsters to make yourself into a character, and there they are. There's a hat trick of Whitlock's in the audience, and one on stage doing the business. 60. I wonder if they share prize money. <laughs> That is the genuine Whitlock up there, I believe. I don't think he's 96. got a ringer in. Perhaps in future years, we'll, there'll be team events where someone does the scoring and then you bring on the sub to take the double well, out. Well, there have been times over the last year or so for Simon Whitlock when he probably wishes he could have brought on a sub. The major TV well, events have been nightmarish for him. It's been first round exits in everything pretty much. It's ever since the match play. The match play made the semi-finals playing the best darts he played for five years is what he said. He ended up losing out to Michael Van Gerwen in a decent game. He put up a fight. But since then it's just not gone his way on telly. Now we have seen little bits of the old Simon Whitlock. He's made a a couple of quarterfinals and a couple of semi-finals and he's hit a nine data on the tour this year but once you put a camera on him things haven't gone particularly well. 41. Well a chance here for Joe in the first leg of this match against the throw he had chances and he's given himself chances again. 43. Physical and treble is not going to help. Well we see Terry Jenkins take this out the first game of the afternoon and that looks absolutely plumb to be followed up. Well, of course, when Whitlock made the switch to the PDC, it was the big combination finishes that really caught the eye. He was just incredible at them. Joe Cullen's not going to get a dart at the bullseye for the 1 2 8, and Whitlock will return for double 10 for 2 1. And he gets it. Simon Whitlock. Well, Simon Whitlock is one of the players that has changed his darts. Assures me and everybody else that he's comfortable with them now and he's on the way back. Although he's not going to be one of the seeds down in Australia and New Zealand, he will be one of the invitees. And the top eight of that World Series go through to the finals. And someone like Simon Whitlock, he's got three tournaments down there, he could actually knock one of the seeds out. Because uh, Barnevelt, which Bunting hasn't really won any points yet, so uh, the incentive is there. 60. Same for Carl Anderson, although I've heard that Carl Anderson will not play Sydney, which is one as Joey Cullen puts in another 180. 180. And if Carl Anderson's listening, I think you're silly to duck out of it because. You could easily put in a run like he did last year and get those points and be in that top eight. Well, certainly, the way Carl Anderson has played this year, it's been very, very impressive. I mean, he's an absolute nightmare quarter of the draw at the World Match Play, making his debut in Blackpool next week. He's got uh, James Wade to start with, and there's the same quarter as Gary Anderson and Terry Jenkins. But, look, he's there, and he's given himself a chance. Joe and Simon Whitlock's given himself a chance in this leg, but Joe Cullen gets two darts at double top for two apiece, it's and he gets it. It's play. another 14 darts. Cullen, fifth leg, it's two out of two on the tops for Joey Game. Cullen. And it's two apiece in legs between him and Simon Whitlock. And it's Cullen that's held his two legs on the throw have been held it very strongly. But both times he's had a chance to nick the throw. 
And he is going to need a break One at some point in this switch. match. Simon Whitlock, of course, having made the final here the last two years. I mean, he'll have very happy memories of Dusseldorf and particularly this stage. Uh, you, you must know, Rod, and the match play for you, I would imagine, was always a, a good one, having won there. That you, you go then think, look, I know this is a place where I can deliver my best. You do have lucky stages, there's no question about that. And it's normally when you, you feel that you've, you've had a good little bit of run of luck at certain times in the tournament. That's what you think, well... I'm up here, and wow. you look at your, the back of the head of the, the opponent, and you think, well, you're going to miss. And that's what you say. You say, yeah, I know you're going to miss, and I'm going to take it out. And that, like, air of arrogance, confidence, is what you, gets you over um, some wow. matches. And a ton 80 from Whitlock. That's his third. The fifth of the match in total. It gets him down to a finish. But Joe Cullen has given himself another opportunity. Wow. A ton. Well, it gets him down to a two data. Oh, will we see another big finish? We've had loads this weekend. We're not going to see the 157 now. But he is going to wow. set it up absolutely marvellously. Now, Joe Cullen, you've had chances on the Whitlock throw. Will you take this one? Yes, you will. He's done well there, Joe Cullen, because on the previous two Whitlock throws, he's been thereabouts and had the odd dart. But this time... He's taken the chance, and now he's got to step up. Don't throw any more than 15 darts. Do not let your opponent back in the game. This is where you really have to punish him. If you're going to you know, move on and beat someone like Simon Whitlock, you must not let him back in the game. Well, that was it. Oh, there you see. 99 overall average, 107 for the first nine. Well, Joe Cullen, he has outscored his opponent, and that has brought him chances in every leg. He's had the opportunity. I mean, he could have been 5 nil up, pretty much. 134. But kind of fluffed his lines on the Whitlock throw in the first two times that the Australian was thrown first. Made the most of it in that last leg. And needs to consolidate. Open up a bit of daylight between these two. Well, he you would think he was going to get seven da uh, nine darts from 274. And he's actually, that's a brilliant visit. And what he's doing, he's putting the pressure on Simon Whitlock to hit a 140 himself. Or a 180 would help. Brilliant dance from Simon Whitlock. That's the Whitlock of old. That's the one that got him in the Premier League. 60. Simon, you require 58. And this is a great break back from Whitlock. Oh, well, he's hit the double. He didn't mean to. 736. That leads to 22. Well, game shot of six leg. Double double Simon finish from Whitlock. Simon Whitlock. I mean, Seven I don't think he Simon meant it, first, but it will do very nicely. Yeah, he certainly didn't mean it, but um, that's good, good focus, and that's a great leg of darts because I mean Joey Cullen broke him with a superb leg, and uh, Simon Whitlock with one hundred. A good leg to bounce back and get the advantage. So all the hard work for Joe Cullen to do again. Been wow, switching right extremely well, though, yeah. Cullen. Yeah, I mean, it's been really good stuff from Joe Cullen. It's just been a couple of occasions when he's messed up the setup shots in the early part of the game 60. on the Whitlock throw that has made it a little bit more difficult. He could have be been another break up, but look, if he just keeps on in this rhythm. And this performance, hitting one or two trebles every visit, Joe Cullen. Well, he's, he's got the throw, and only a maximum is going to get it back for One Big Lock. Well, 180s in the last three legs for the big Aussie, but here comes Joe Cullen looking to hit back. Go for the 18s. Yeah, beautiful darts from Cullen as well. It's another belt of a game we've got for you here. We've had some absolute stormers tonight already and Whitlock's not going to take out the 161. Well what route Joey Cullen going to go? Is he going to go the aggressive route or is he going for the 25? He's gone the aggressive route now he's got to go double 18 surely and double top. 54. Well that I believe was a cry of anguish from Joe Cullen. That was from Joe that's what I thought. 
He has missed double top by an absolute mile there. Will Whitlock give him a chance? They weren't particularly close. Game that Jones one's exactly South where he wanted it though. Whitlock back Sam into the lead. It is another leg on the Whitlock throw where Cullen has given wow. himself an opportunity and hasn't been able to take it. Well, this is the leg where Joe Cullen has got to stay focused. It's now easy just to go off the board a little bit when Whitlock's on a run and all of a sudden you're 5-3 down and you're against the throw and you walk off losing 6-3. So big, big leg for Joe Cullen. But he scored exceptionally well. Yeah, he really has. Ninety-six. Eighty-three. And once again, Simon Whitlock finds himself in need of a lot of trebles. And he can't deliver on this occasion. So Joe Cullen is looking in good shape to make it four apiece. I was just about to say, he mustn't have a visit <laughs> without a treble, though. 64. And that may not be enough. Simon Whitlock, the one thing he has done quite well is set the shot up. Put himself out of jail a couple of times, especially on his throw in the early part of the match. 95. Joe, you require one. Who can take out the ton plus? Wants the double top again. Game oh, brilliant darts. Well, he Jay answered the Cullen question that I asked earlier on, Dan, didn't he? Us. And uh, secured that leg without Whitlock having a, a chance of nicking it. One round, Fawlty. Well, are we going to go right down to the wire? We haven't seen a game this evening go the One full 11 legs. 33. Seen plenty over the course of the weekend. Certainly yesterday. But the only one that's gone 96. 11 legs today was the Robert Thornton Dimitri Vandenberg one. Thornton coming through that one and awaits the winner of this one here. You see those averages. 99 83. plays 102. Yeah, as we said before, I mean, for Simon Whitlock to have his overall average a lot higher than the front nine, it's just that 79. he's been setting the shot up brilliantly from around about the 200, and that's where he's got his four legs from. Joey Cullen has dominated wow. the power scoring in the front nine. Look at this, Whitlock in there again now. Big moment wow. here, what a last Fulton. dart that is. Would make all the difference in this leg. And again, Dan, we've talked about his setup shots in this match, and that's perfect wow. again. And Joe's 45. stuck with him. So I'm in require 46. One needs to hold his nerve here. Two darts, a double 16, Game and he only needs the one. It's a 14 darter from Sam Whitlock. He is one leg away Jones from the next round. And Joe Game Cullen on. has been throwing everything at the big Aussie. So far, it is not enough. Here. He needs to hold his throw and then 22. break, and a 22 could spell the end. We'll just go back to those early legs. The first two legs on Simon Whitlock's throw. Joe Cullen had a chance wow. to take both of those. 21. Actual fact, could have been 4-0 up. He really could. Because the, the first two of his throws, Simon never got anywhere near him. 85. And we keep saying that you've got to take those chances in the early legs that's what sets the game up for you gives you control but Whitlock has effectively stolen the darts in this one he's looking to tear away into wow. the distance and he's doing so Simon Whitlock is this going to be the final leg of the match but back comes Cullen wow. back comes Cullen and three 180s for Joe Cullen he's at a 174 as well 100. He may get six darts, probably will get six darts from here. Oh, this is brilliant. And oh, another 174. Absolutely four. brilliant. 74. It's normally been Simon Whitlock that's been setting the, the shots up brilliantly, but certainly Joe Cullen. 
has done exactly that and he's going to come back and to be quite honest the double top has been really kind to him in this match so to take it to a decider if you're going to miss just put it above perfect perfect guide just hit the barrels it's in oh. wow well we are going all the way we are going all the way a phenomenal leg of darts it Whitlock waiting to strike but can he hold his nerve in this final leg? 60. Just the 60. Opportunity for Cullen. It was ironic, Dan, that I think in leg one, Simon Whitlock went off like 22, 26, 45. Mm. And in that previous leg, Joe went off 22. And you're thinking, game over. But comes back with the 180, 174. Well, it's been a really high quality contest between these two, but is it all going to get a bit nervy? As we approach the finishing line. 82. Just keeps him in the running. Ninety-six. Simon Whitlock's runs to the final here over the last two years have been accompanied by choruses of the crowd singing his name non-stop, but it's all gone a little bit quiet here wow, as Colin fires in a ton 40. 40. It's all a bit tense, all a bit nervy. Whitlock's still got the advantage, though. He's going to get nine darts from 252, unless Cullen can pull out the 180. That's what he needs now. And the 140 may give him an outside chance. 98. Simon, you require well, 117. 117 for Whitlock, 124 for Cullen in the deciding leg. If one of these goes, it's a match winner. Trouble 19 for Whitlock. Cullen will return to the board. But he may only Joe get a dart at the bullseye if that. Trouble 18. Doesn't get it. And Whitlock will get three clear darts at double 12 for the match. Cullen 56. has had his opportunities in this one. Simon, 24. And he has not taken them. And Whitlock... He loves it here. He loves it here in Dusseldorf. Finalist two years running. And he goes into the final day of action tomorrow. A 6-5 win over Joe Cullen. Another great game of darts here this evening at the European Darts Open. Joe Cullen, such an opportunity for him to end Whitlock's run here. Just couldn't quite get the job done. Both averaging around the 100 mark. Great game. We've got one more for you here on day two of the European Darts Open. And it's I'm Devin Peterson against Peter Wright. I hope you like dancing. We've got loads of it coming up. Simon, congratulations. A close one, a very close one. Yeah, I know. Uh, I watched the show yesterday. He said it was going to be an easy game for me, but no, it wasn't easy at all. <laughs> he said yesterday, oh, Simon Whitlock, right, <laughs> that's right, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, he said easy game, and no, he was wrong, it was a hard game. <laughs> <laughs> the last two years you reached the final of this tournament, so, so good vibrations for you? Düsseldorf is a good place to, 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 to reach good results? Yeah, definitely, you know, I've got the best crowd in the world here, I, I feel very comfortable here, but i tell you what, I was very nervous before I started today because knowing I've had such good results the last two years, you know, but I'm over the moon to win that match. That was really tough. So it means it means pressure for you to, to come back? Yes, of course, but, you know, the, the fans got me through. You know, I started absolutely terrible. I couldn't have started any worse, but, you know, I got there in the end, and thank you, everybody, for cheering me on. See you tomorrow again. Thank you very much. Simon Whitlock. Er sagt, er war vor der Partie richtig nervös, weil er irgendwie wusste, dass das doch immer ein Platz war, an dem er gute Starts gespielt hat, an dem er gute Ergebnisse eingefahren hat. Er steht also im Achtel.